dear teachers and my dear friends i am nafisatul mishriya how are you hope all are doing great and having a nice day i am also doing good so today i came here in front of you tell a brief history on lunar exploration so are you ready i hope all are ready okay so let's get started humans are very very charm to discover new things they invented many things that everyone know right so yes So today I would like to tell their invention on space about lunar exploration. So are you guys ready? So yes. So now I am going to start. From NASA's Ranger probes and USSR's lunar missions to the Apollo moon landings and now India's Chandrayaan, human efforts to conquer the moon have continued. So there is so many missions conducted there. uh so many missions and they launched different types of satellites and everything so uh for example ranger probes ussr luna missions chandrayaan mangalyaan like more so through all these missions uh humans effort to conquer the moon have continued here you understand why sailing uh the humans effort to conquer the moon have continuing okay since the dawn of time the moon has fascinated humans here right so poems and songs have been written about its beauty spectacle and mystery in every language and culture so many many poems and uh, songs have been written and sung about its beauty spectacle and mystery in every language and culture it's because such a beauty spectacle it have and also mystery they uh, find out or they uh, invented as i told you before okay so now i'm going to continue that uh, the reason person and he in the fifth century it happened his name he is a busy greek philosopher his name is anaxagoras and he suggested the moon was a rock body and reflected the sun's light this resulted in anaxagoras arrest and exile as people believe it that the sun and moon were gods these thing you need to be very careful okay understand very carefully so here um, in the fifth century happened do you know what is century century means 100 years is called a century okay that everyone know but i'm just telling you okay uh, in a, uh, and it happened in the fifth century and his name is uh, anaxagoras and he is an busy greek philosopher and uh, he suggested that the moon and sun uh, sun moon uh, reflected the sun's light uh, because of that people believed that the sun and moon were gods and this resulted in anaxagoras Uh, Aras Tan Exile. Okay, and in his honor, crater at the moon's north pole named Anaxagoras. So you guys saw that crater, right? So that crater is named Anaxagoras, and his honor, uh, crater at the moon's north pole is named Anaxagoras. Who's a honor? A busy Greek philosopher, Anaxagoras. Okay, so in India, Aryabhata mentioned in his book Aryabhata. in the 5th century ad that the moon's light is reflected the sun's light here is what is saying the reason a uh, person named aryabhata and he is an in, uh, in india he have a book and its name is uh, aryabhata in his book he mentions in the 5th century that the uh, moon's light is reflected the sun's light so guys you saw the picture of uh, his book right um, aryabhata's book so now i'm continuing A Persian astronomer Habash Al Hasib Al Marwazi conducted various observation at the uh, Al Shamsia Observatory in Baghdad and from there he estimated moon's diameter and its distance away from the earth. Here what is saying a Persian astronomer is there and his name is Habash Al Hasib and might he have any other country in mind but he is an a Persian astronomer and his name is Habash Al Hasib Al Marwazi and he conducted various observations at the observatory named al shamsia and it is situated in baghdad and from there he estimated mainly uh, moon's diameter and uh, its distance away from the earth uh, but at last he found some and yes his measurement come close to the measurements we have today now uh, the measurements we have today his measurement is come close okay the earth is 3 lakhs 84400 km away from the earth and has a radius of 1738.1 km the radius is 1738.1 km and the moon is 3 lakhs 84400 km away from the earth okay the advent of telescopes helped get a better view of cosmic neighbor 
uh, and in 1609 Galileo Galilei made the one of the first drawings of the moon. The advent of the telescopes, uh, you know, invent of the telescopes helped to get a better view of our cosmic neighbor. And in 1609, a person named Galileo Galilei and he made the one of the first drawings of the moon. But it was during the Cold War era that the moon became the focus of a space race between the Soviet Union and United States of America. So it was during the recent war and it, it name is Cold War era and don't forget this name. Okay, so this Cold War era, it was during Cold War era that the moon became the focus of a space race, space race between Soviet Union and United States of America. So this is the beginning of the uh, explorations. You want to start? Okay. In 1959, Russia's Luna 2 became the first spacecraft to land on the moon's surface. So here, Russia's Luna 2 is became the first spacecraft to land on the moon's surface. So Russia is the first country to go to the moon and its Luna 2 is the first spacecraft to land on the moon's surface. To compete with the Soviet successes, U.S. President John F. Kennedy proposed a manned moon landing. This Russia Luna 2 is not an uh, crewed um, landing, it's an uncrewed landing, but uh, U.S. President John F. Kennedy proposed a manned landing, crewed landing, okay, so to compete with the Soviet successes. So, uh, he said without war server one thing and that is, I believe that this nation should commit itself for achieving the goal before its decade is out of landing on the um, man on the moon surface and returning him safely to the earth. Uh, but in a very real sense, it will be not one man going to the moon. If we make this uh, judgment affirmatively, it will be an entire nation for all of us want to make to put him though. I believe uh, we will go to the moon. So this is the words of U.S. President John F. Kennedy. Between 1961 and 1965, nine NASA Ranger spacecraft got a few closer pictures of the moon. The Ranger 7, here what is saying uh, in between 1961 and 1965, nine NASA Ranger spacecraft got a few close-up images of the moon's surface. Few, few close-up pictures they got from these nine NASA Ranger spacecraft. Okay. The Ranger 7 lunar landed which approached the moon on July 31, 1964. Uh, it cons is considered the first true success in the United States early quest to explore the moon. Here, the Ranger 7 Luna landed, which approached the moon on July 31, 1964. Don't forget the year. It's on July 31, 1964, which he, which uh, the uh, Ranger 7 Luna landed, approached the moon on July 31, 1964. And it is considered the first true success in the United States. Okay. So, it is considered the first true success uh, in the United States early quest to explore the moon. Okay, it's an early quest to explore the moon. The Ranger 7 transmitted 4,308 images in the 15 minutes before it impacted the lunar surface. Before it impacted the lunar surface, they have, the Ranger 7 have transmitted 4,308 images. So, you saw the picture of it, right? So, let's see a uh, few of the history of it, a few of the launching history and yes, uh, the Russia's Luna 9 and it uh, was launched in 1966, uh, Russia's Luna 9 became the first vehicle to soft land on the moon. It is the first vehicle, Russia's Luna 9 is the first vehicle to land so softly on the moon. Okay, soft land on the moon and it happened in 1966. Luna 10 launched in the same year became the first spacecraft to successfully orbit the moon. So Luna 10 also launched in the same year, I mean 1966 and it became the first spacecraft to successfully orbit the moon. Okay? But the US got the biggest win with its Apollo program. So Apollo program is the manned moon landing, crewed moon landing. Okay. So uh, US got the biggest win with its Apollo program. On July 20, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin became the first people to step on the moon. So what is saying? Uh, the Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin became the first people to step on the moon. Step on the moon. Okay, so and it happened on July 20, 1969 and with its Apollo program. So let's see the images of Apollo program and uh, Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin. Of all 
also the picture of eight and there is a cot told by um, Neil Armstrong and that is let me tell you what is that that's one small step for a man one game leap for a mankind so it is told by Neil Armstrong who is the first person to step on the moon okay and Edwin Buss Aldrin is also the uh, first uh, in, in including the first people he is the uh, Edwin Buss Aldrin is also the first people to walk on the moon but he's the second person and the first person is Neil Armstrong okay so uh, from 1917 to 1973, uh, Apollo missions 12 to 7 helped collect several kilograms of lunar samples and helped to understand the moon's geology. From 1970 to 73, the Apollo missions conducted by uh, Apollo missions, I told you, uh, US conducted Apollo missions, and that is 12 to 17. Uh, uh, through that uh, missions, they uh, it helped to collect several kilograms of. Uh, several kilograms of lunar samples and uh, help to understand the moon's geology. In 1990, the Japan uh, joined the race and placed its hyphen spacecraft orbit around the moon. So in 1990, Japan joined the race and uh, in Japanese uh, placed its hyphen spacecraft orbit around the moon. On November 14, 2008, uh, Chandrayaan 1 landed on the moon and shot the water molecules, presence of water molecules on the moon. Uh, which countries was Chandrayaan? Chandrayaan was a country and our country India. So India conducted the or launched the Chandrayaan 1 and it's landed on the moon and showed the presence of water molecules on the moon. Okay, China joined the list of countries to soft land on the moon when its U2 rover touched it down in 2013. So here is saying in 2013 U2 rover touched down and that uh, China joined the list of countries to soft land on the moon. Chang E4 landed on the moon's fourth side and became the first spacecraft to ever land. The Chang E4 is of China and it's landed on the far side of the moon and became the first spacecraft to ever land there. So I missed the year actually, sorry. And the Chang E4 is launched on January 2019. So Chang E4 is launched on January 2019. Okay, same year on February 21, Israel's lunar lander Bereshit was launched but after a month it was reported to have a crash landed on the moon. On same year and that is February 21, Hapman and uh, Israel's lunar land, uh, lander Bereshit was launched on February 21 but after a month it's reported to have a crash landed on the moon. With Chandrayaan Q, India, our country is said to become the fourth country to soft land on the moon after Russia, US and China. After Russia and US, US and China, India is said to become the soft land on the moon. Okay, uh, with Chandrayaan 2. Do you understand? Okay. And NASA 2 is planning to return to the moon in 2024 as a preparatory step to launch missions to Mars and other space destinations. Okay. So here is saying the NASA 2 is planning to the um, moon in 2024 and let's see what will happen. Let's wait 2024. We can wait that day and for the biggest win of NASA. Now I'm going to show the few videos of launching missions from various countries of lunar exploration. Then you guys will get an, a great idea about it. Okay. So go and see.
have all watched that video and it was uh, i hope it was an understandable video and my class is also an understandable and helpful for you and this was the uh, one thing that we need to uh, remember in throughout our life if you are going to become any scientist or uh, if you are not becoming scientist we need to study this this is these are the uh, most important things okay because scientists are uh, the most life fine or uh, uh, through the path right path of ours right so yes i hope you guys liked my class and enjoyed my class and thank you for giving me such an opportunity to uh, take a class on you and sitting here and listening me and everything i'm really thanking you guys and thank you so much